Right, okay, so um, the last example that I went through was quite fiddly, um, and I had to draw another graph in between, and might have been a little bit challenging to follow. So I've done this extra example just to show uh, how the alternating path algorithm works when you have two workers unmatched and two tasks unmatched, for example. I mean, I'm, I've always been, in these videos, been using workers and uh, tasks, but it's not necessarily got to be that. Okay, so I've come prepared in this one. Um, I've drawn out the graph twice, plus I have this graph, which will show you how the matchings are building as we go. So initially, we're told that, uh, in this case, we've got six workers and six tasks, and initially we've got four matchings made, okay? So we've got F being attached to four, uh, E to five, uh, D to three, and A to two, okay? So that's my initial matching. So A two, uh, D three, E five, and F four, okay? So, um, the unmatched vertices are B, C, 1, and 6. Okay? So let's try and find a route, an alternating path, that will get me from B to one of the unmatched vertices. Okay? So I can go from B to 2, then to A, then to 3, then to D, then to 5, then to E, then to 1. Okay, so it's quite a long route, but it replaces A2, D3, and E5 with B2, A3, D5, and E1. Okay, so what we have here is A2 has been replaced, okay, uh, we've got D3 has been replaced, we've got E5 has been replaced, okay, F4 has not been replaced yet, it might do in a minute, but we'll see, so we've replaced them with B2, A3, uh, D5, and E1. So this is my current matching, okay, over here. This is my alternating path that allowed me to get there. So I currently have A connected to 3, B connected to 2, um, E connected to 1, and D connected to 5. Okay, or an F to 4. Okay. And my remaining two unmatched vertices are C and 6. So I now need to find a path that gets me from C to 6. So C... 4, F, then 6. So F4 has been replaced with C4 and F6. So F4 has been replaced with C going to 4 instead and F going to 6. Okay, so this is now a complete final matching. So I've got A3. B2, C4, D5, E1, and F6. And that is my complete matching that I must write down at the end with my two alternating paths that got me there. Okay? So it can be done a lot more quickly and with a lot less confusion if you have two of the bipartite graphs there drawn out, okay? This um, bit that I've put in the bubble is just showing you how the matching is changing with each process, with each alternating path, okay?